Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for being here and practicing with me today. If you are a subscriber already, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Maybe click that subscribe button and that will be very helpful for me. I hope you will enjoy today's class. If you're ready, get your mat and let's begin. Today we're gonna begin in standing. So coming at the top of your mat, keep the feet slightly apart. Bring your hands at the heart in Namaste. And staying soft for now, closing down the eyes here, we we'll take a few breaths before beginning our class today. Try to relax completely and taking long inhalations. And then equally longer, you exhale out. If Ujjayi is usually in your practice, feel free to bring that in. Separating teeth in your mouth or moving tongue in your mouth to release. If there's any tension on your jaws, keep inhaling, bringing healthy thoughts and happy thoughts in your practice. And today, trying to connect with the earth beneath you. Claim your space on earth. So feel the ground beneath you and let yourself be supported today. Press the fingers equally against each other if the mind wanders. And keep inhaling three more times here with me. Inviting peace in your practice. And exhale, grounding yourself. Again, two more times. Exhale, equally long out. And one last. Exhale. We're going to chant three ohms. Feel free to chant with me. Or just listen to. But if you're ready to chant, let's try with the next inhale. Uh, once more inhaling. Uh, Last one. Um. Let us connect with the earth. Feel its strength beneath our feet and honor the natural world around us. As we move through our practice today, let us cultivate mindfulness and gratitude for this precious planet we call home. Beautiful. Bring a smile on your face. Slowly open your eyes and release the hands by the side. Bring the big toes to touch. In the legs together. Tilt in. Inhale your arms up without bringing shoulders with your look up. Exhale your forward fold. Flat back on the inhale. If the floor is too far, bring the hands at your lower legs. Flat back. Exhale. Fold once more. Inhale, rise all the way up, inner legs together, tailbone in, shoulders are not coming with you slightly. Looking up, exhale, hands up to heart. Again, inhale, arms up, exhale, you fall. Flat back on the inhale, exhale, fold once more. Inhale to rise, bring the inner legs together, tailbone in, shoulders are not coming with you. Look up, exhale, hands up to heart. One more time. Halves and salutation. Inhale, rise. Exhale, you fall. Flat back on the inhale. Exhale, fold once more. And inhale to rise all the way up. Bring the arms with you. Looking up. Exhale, hands to the heart. And down by the side. Take a moment. Make sure you are breathing. Make sure you are here with your practice. And when you're ready, moving into a chair, bending knees, inhaling, arms up, looking up or just in front of you. Keep the tailbone in, make sure you're able to see your toes. Squeezing in the legs together, relax the facial muscles for seven. Five. Four. 
three, two, one more. And slowly gazing in front of you, exhale, forward fold. Flat back on the inhale. On your exhale, plant the hands down. This time you step or jump or hop to a Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling for a cobra. Drop your thighs down. Lift your heart forward and up. Press the tops of the feet, elbows in. Hold your cobra for three. Squeezing glutes at the top. Make sure you inhale away from the lower back. Shoulders away from the ears. Spread the fingers wide. Two. One more. Gazing down, toes in. Bring your knees down and come to a tabletop. Bring your wrist under your shoulder, knees are hip apart. Your arms are shoulder distance apart. Tuck the toes in and press back. Stretching, opening the back of the feet. Sit on your heels. And then coming forward, taking the first downward facing dog. Toes are still in, inhale, knees up. Exhale, press back. Spread the fingers wide. Long neck, heavy head. As I always do, I stay a little bit in my first downward facing dog, maybe bending knees or moving side to side. Make sure your neck is long, your head is heavy. Maybe say yes or no with the head a few times. Make sure to spread the fingers wide, sharpening the sitting bones, back and up, lengthening the upper body and then finding stillness in our downward facing dog for three more breaths. Two. One more. Gazing at the top. Warrior one on the right side. Step the right foot in between the hands. Back heel step down. Bending front knee. Hips are remaining in one line. Inhale your arms up. Shoulders are not coming with you. Once more gaze up or just in front of you. Stay for three. Stay for two. One more, gazing in front of you, exhale, frame your right foot, pivot the back heel up, left foot step to the top, big toes are touching, still inhaling for your flat back, exhale, you fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, inner legs together, tail moving in, looking up, exhale, hands of the heart, down by the side. Chair once more, bend the knees, uttanasana, arms up, inhale for seven. Elbow in, inner legs together. Make sure you can see your toes. Otherwise, bring the sitting bones slightly to the back. Keep the elbow in. Shoulders are not coming with you. Relax the jaws. Five, four, three, two more. One last. If you're gazing up, gazing in front of you, exhale, fold and stretch everything out. Flat back on the inhale, exhale, plant the hands down, step up or jump, chaturanga dandasana. And again, cobra, drop the thighs down, inhale, heart forward and up, baby cobra also, okay, keep the bend, elbows bent if you feel like, or stretch all the way up, pressing tops of the feet into the ground. Heart forward and up. We hold for three, for two. Relax in the pose. Make sure this doesn't hurt your lower back. One last. And then again, gazing down. Lift up on the knees and hands. Tack the toes and press back. Stretch again. And then coming again, hands and knees, tabletop, toes are still in, moving back to downward facing dog, inhale, knees up, exhale, press back. Take two, three breaths here. Remember, child's pose is always there if you need a break. Make sure to spread the fingers wide, make sure to breathe. Long neck, heavy head, sharpen sitting bones, lengthen upper body. One more breath here. And then when you're ready, gazing at the top, warrior one on the left side, left foot steps in between the hands, right heel step down, bending front knee, arms up, inhale. Hello. Again, palms can touch your face or cactus your arms, maybe gazing up or just in front of you. 
stay for just three breaths. Two. One last. And if you're gazing up, gazing in front of you, exhale, straight to that step. Feel the back heel up, and back to the step at the top with two touching. Inhale into the flat back. Excellent. Full. Inhale it to rise all the way up again. Inner legs together, tailbone with shoulders up, 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 look up. Exhale, hands up the heart, and down by the side. From the top of your mat, inner legs together, big toes touching. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Flat back on the inhale. Exhale, plant the hands down, step up or jump to a Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, forward plank. Lift your right leg off the back. Three-legged plank, pointing the right toes to the back. Roll your left outer hip up, right outer hip down. Hold here for three. For two. One more. From here, see if you can press back to a three-legged dog. Extend the right leg back and up. Walking the hands closer if you need it. Pressing the hands equally down. Still rolling left outer hip up, right outer hip down. Stay for two breaths. Long neck, heavy head. One more. And then gazing at the top, right foot steps in between. Back heel stays up this time. Coming up for a high lunge. Right outer hip rolls back. Left outer hip to the front. Pressing right toes, heel inside, outside of the foot, into the mat, kick through the back heel, make sure to keep the tailbone in. Again, gaze up if the neck is okay, if you're back bending, make sure you inhale away from the back, shoulders away from the ears. I can gaze up today, it's really bright. One more. And from here, if you're gazing up, gaze in front of you, we're gonna move into a trikonasana. So pushing through the right heel, step the left foot sideways, right piece finger around the right big toe. Turn the left shoulder to the sky. Long neck again, maybe gaze up. Extending the left arm up or just gazing in front of you. Beautiful, two, three breaths here. I really cannot gaze up today, it's so bright. But again, if your neck doesn't hurt and your room isn't that bright, feel free to gaze up at your left hand. Beautiful. Now, if you're gazing up, gaze at your right foot, gazing down. Bend your left elbow, left hand on your left hip. Bend the right knee. We're gonna move into a half moon pose. Release your right hand outside your right pinky. And inhale your left leg back and up. Before you attempt the full pose, find your balance. So move your right hand anywhere to find balance. Right toes, heel inside, outside of the front leg. Press down, turn the left shoulder, left elbow to the sky, push through the left heel, energize the left leg, and eventually extend the left arm up. Just a couple of breaths here. Once more, gazing up, if you can, challenge your balance or just gaze down at your right foot. One more breath. And then moving back to a triangle, trikonasana, gazing back down, rebending left elbow, left knee, left hip, soft bend the right knee, step the left foot back from where you came, and bring the right piece finger around the right big toe, and once more extending the left arm up. Just two breaths here. One more. And then slowly gazing down, frame your right foot, turn the back heel up and step back to your three-legged leg, taking your vinyasa this way or stepping the right foot down if you wish. Either way, elbows in, inhale back bend of your choice and down or facing dog, exhale. Open your mouth, side it out. If you have tension, the only time we breathe out of your mouth is for our cleansing breath one breath here in our downward facing dog and then when you are ready inhale forward to a plank and lift the left leg off the mat three-legged plank pointing the left toes to the back holding your plank here for just three breaths rolling right outer hip up left outer hip down 
shoulders are above your wrists. Navel to spinal. One more. And then from here, three-legged down dog we go. Shoot the left leg back and up. Stepping the hands closer if you need it. And still rolling right out the hip. Up, left out the hip down. Long neck, heavy head. Just a couple of breaths here. One last. And then gazing at the top, left foot steps in between your hands. Back heel stays up, feet are hip apart. High lunge, inhale, arms up, shoulders are not coming with you. Left outer hip rolls back, right outer hip to the front. Kick through the back heel. Keep the tailbone in, shoulders are not coming with you. Couple of breaths here. One more. And if you're gazing up, gaze in front of you, moving into a Trikonasana from here. Pushing to the left heel, extend the left leg, right foot step sideways. Left this finger comes around the left big toe. Right shoulder turn to the ceiling. Long neck before you might be gazing up towards your right hand. Three breaths here in our Trikonasana, Utita Trikonasana. Make sure you breathe, never hold your breath. One more. And then slowly gazing down towards your left foot. Bend your right elbow, bring the right hand on your right hip. Bend your left knee as well. Left hand outside your left pinky. Inhale your right leg back and up. Find your balance before holding your Chandrasana. Or the Chandrasana. And again, try to turn your right elbow to the Sky. push to the right heel, point the toes towards you. You could just stay there where you are, that's also good enough. And eventually, if you try to do the full pose, extend the right arm to the sky. Stay for a couple of breaths. Again, gazing down or up, or just in front of you, your choice. One more. And then when you're ready, if you're gazing up, slowly gazing back down, moving to a Trikonasana once more, bending left knee, step the right foot from where you came, left wrist finger coming back around the left big toe, keep the right arm extended to the sky, few breaths in your Trikonasana, maybe again looking up or just in front of you. Just breathe. And then when you're ready, gaze back down, frame your left foot, pivot the back heel up. Step to a three-legged plank, taking your Chaturanga with the left leg extended, or let it back down. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Down or facing dog, exhale. Stay two, three breaths here. Remember, child's pose is always there if you need it. And when you're ready, inhale with me to a plank. Lift your right leg off the mat, three-legged plank. And three-legged dog. Extend the right leg back and up. Gaze at the top right foot steps in between the hands, back heel up. Inhale, arms up, high lunge. And exhale, Trikonasana. Look up for just a breath. Bend your left elbow, left hand on your left hip. Gaze down at your right toes, bend the right knee. Right hand outside your right pinky toe. And her left leg back and up for a half moon or the Chandrasana pose. Stay here or maybe extend the left arm to the sky. Energize the left leg. Relax in the pose. Don't kill the left leg, keep it energized. From here, a few more breaths, and we are going to move into a standing split. So, when you're ready, gazing back down, bring the left hand back down on the mat, keep the left leg up, and turn your right outer hip up, left outer hip down. Also here, it's good enough. Otherwise, if you wanna go for a standing split, inhale halfway up, and on your exhale, fold a little bit deeper, lift the left leg higher. 
you might release a hand at your right heel if you want to challenge your balance a little bit or you could even bend your left knee and with the right hand trying to catch the top of your left foot if you did that release the right hand back down extend the left leg back and up one more breath in your standing splits and then slowly you're gonna come to a standing so gazing in front of you take your time soft bend the right knee come all the way up to standing keeping the left knee bent now bring your left hand inside your left inner foot knees together choose a steady gaze in front of you and bring your right arm dancer your left hand will resist your left foot and together they go back up towards the sky holding your dancer for just a few breaths relax the facial muscles one last and then slowly come back to standing releasing the left foot back down and releasing tension from the right ankle or right lower leg if there's any and then when you're ready coming at the top of the mat big toes touching inhale arms up exhale you fold flat back on the inhale plant the hands now step up or jump back bend of your choice in here and down or facing dog exhale beautiful inhale forward to a plank lift your left leg back and up it's more of a three-legged plank and then press back to a three-legged dog beautiful hands equally pressing down gaze at the top left foot steps in between the hands inhale high lunge keep the tailbow in left toes heel inside outside of the foot pressing down shoulders are not coming with you and then exhale trikonasana right foot sideways left piece finger around the left big toe turn the right shoulder to the ceiling shoulders in one line long neck before you gaze up just a breath of two here and if you're gazing up gaze all the way down at your left foot bend your right elbow bring the right hand on your right hip bend your left knee and step your left hand outside your left pinky inhale your right leg back and up find your balance before you hold your half moon pose then again turning right elbow to the ceiling right outer hip towards the ceiling energize the right leg and then eventually extend the right arm up just a breath or two take your time soften the facial muscles and when you are ready keeping the right leg up gazing down bring your right hand all the way down on the back turn the left outer hip up right outer hip down moving into a standing split this could be good enough but if you wish inhale halfway up exhale you fall deeper and you maybe bring the right leg higher releasing the hand at your left heel or even bending right knee and with the left hand trying to catch the top of that right foot if you did that release the right leg back and up left hand back down holding your standing split just for one more breath and then slowly you come back to a stand take your time keeping the right leg up soft bending left knee come all the way up to standing bring the right hand inside your right inner foot knees closer to each other inhale left arm up and on your exhale dancer right hand resisting right foot foot resisting the hand they go together up towards the sky just two breaths one more and then slowly come back to standing release step the right foot now 
release any tension from the left lower leg or left ankles. And then when you're ready once more, top of the mat, big toes touching, inner legs together, tail moving, inhale, arms up. Exhale forward. Flat back on the inhale. Plant the hands down, step, hop or jump. Chaturanga. Back bend of your toes, inhale. In, down, your facing dog. Open your mouth, exhale. Spread the fingers wide, sharpen sitting bones, lengthen upper body. I hope you can hear the birds around me today. They're giving me such a wonderful concert today and I'm so grateful for that. When you are ready, exhale your knees down and together bringing the knees forward, walking them in between your hands, cross the lower legs behind you and sit. Let's do a couple of rounds of bridge pose. So make sure there's nothing behind you. Lean back, bend the knees, step the feet on the mat and walk the heels closer to you. Until you can reach your heels with your middle finger and then keeping the feet hip apart set to bandhasana inhale your hips high maybe rolling one shoulder at a time inside interlocking fingers lift don't let the knees fall on the side imagine again there is a block there you are squeezing between your thighs hold your bridge for seven every inhale remind yourself to not collapse so keep inhaling away from the ground squeezing glutes at the top and abdominal and softening smoothing the breath five three two one last and then slowly lower yourself down release the hands from underneath keep the knees bent and sit down drop the lower back down for a moment take a few breaths here before lifting up once more relax so now when you are down make sure your neck is long you keep always the neck free and long and you bring the chest use the chin more than the chin to the chest okay take another breath here before doing this one more time and when you're ready again walk the heels towards you keep the feet hip apart make sure you can reach for your heels with the middle finger and then inhale your hips high again maybe roll one shoulder at a time in changing the interlock of the fingers bring your knuckles down bring your wrist down lift the hips higher imagine the block is back there between your thighs squeezing the block every in breath lengthen away stay relax the facial muscles make sure you are breathing seven breaths again don't let the knees fall long neck heavy head make sure the neck is down head is down squeeze the glutes at the top abdominal muscles four three two and one slowly load yourself down release the hands from underneath and again bring the lower back down on the mat take a moment here and then slowly extending the legs out in front of you forearms are on the mat press yourself up lift yourself all the way up and keeping the fingers pointing towards the front of your mat feet together pointing the toes forward we're gonna live into a purvottanasana so again inhale your hips high engaging glutes abdominal point the toes all the way down on the mat looking up at the ceiling or at your belly button spread the fingers wide don't collapse in the hips just for five four three two and one more 
slowly lower down, 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 down. The feet and legs together. This time push into the wrist, pointing the toes up. Neutral spinal, inhale your arms up. Come out to the foot. Flat back on the inhale and exhale forward once more. Paschimottanasana. Just three breaths here. Two. One more. And then slowly head up. Inhale and exhale to release. Come forward on your mat. Make sure enough mat behind you. No props. No collapsing. No dropping. Lean back. Hug the knees into the chest. And rock yourself from side to side. When you are ready, finding stillness, extend the left leg out, hug the right knee into the chest, remaining flat back on the mat, shoulders relaxed, feet are relaxed. And then moving into a twist, extend the right arm out in line with your right shoulder, with the left hand, bring your right knee all the way to the left side of your mat, twisting, trying to keep the shoulder blades down, gazing up or gazing to the right. Stay for just two breaths. One more. And then gaze back up and right knee back to chest. Switching sides, extend the right leg out, hug the left knee into the chest. Roll the shoulder blades back and down, keep the lower back into the ground, neck and head down. Then moving into our twist, the left arm extends out in line with your left shoulder. With the right hand, bring the left knee all the way towards the right side of your Gazing up or gazing left, trying to keep the shoulder blades down. Just soften yourself. Stay for just two breaths. One more. And then gaze back up, left knee back to chest. Hack both knees into the chest once more. And then inhaling here, exhale forehead to the knees. Give yourself a nice hug and squeeze here. And on your exhale, Shavasana. Today, if you feel like in your Shavasana, we usually always bring the palms to the sky. Bring your palms to face the mat. And if you are maybe doing this in your outdoor space, if you have, bring yourself all the way on the ground and see if you can touch the ground with your heels at least and your palms. Celebrate the Earth Day, our home. So we try to fill these connections today with the Earth beneath us, our mother. So keep your palms on the ground, but even if you are not outdoor, Try to feel this connection. Just breathing the energy of the earth in your body. And feel the surroundings as well. Just try to connect with this beautiful energy of the earth. Send love to the earth and receive love from the earth. Soften yourself and with each exhale, try to feel yourself more and more relaxed and grounded. Let yourself be supported today. Surrender all your thinking your emotions, your thoughts to the earth beneath you. Stay here as long as you need. Focus on your breath and let this energy fill you up. Maybe from the center of your heart where love resides. Fill you up and then spread it all out. 
around you, within you, to all people around us who need love, who need good energy, positive energy. So spread it all around you. Feel relaxation, feel peace, feel good and centered and balanced. You brought happy thoughts in your practice today, healthy thoughts at the beginning of your practice. You grounded yourself, you centered yourself, so feel good about that. Just relax. This Earth Day, take a moment to honor and express gratitude for the planet we call home. Deepen your connection with the nature. Visualize yourself lying down in a beautiful natural setting, surrounded by the sounds and scents of nature. Allow yourself to feel grounded and connected to the earth. As you exhale, release any tension in your body and again feel surrounded by natural beauty of the earth. Let yourself be fully present in this moment, feeling the support of the earth beneath you and the warmth of the sun on your skin. Bring your attention to your breath, following each inhale and exhale with gentle awareness. As you breathe, Reflect on the countless gifts that our planet provides us. From the air we breathe, to the food we eat, and the water we drink. Visualize yourself sending gratitude to the earth for its many blessings. And as you deepen into the state of gratitude, bring to mind a specific way in which you can contribute to the protection of our planet. This could be as simple as reducing your energy consumption, recycling more, or using eco-friendly products. Allow yourself to feel empowered and inspired to take action. Now bring awareness to your body and imagine yourself as a part of the larger ecosystem of the earth. Visualize roots growing from the soles of your feet, extending deep into the earth and connecting you to all living beings. As you breathe in, feel the energy of the earth flowing up through your roots and into your body. And again, as you exhale, Imagine sending your love and gratitude back, 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 down to the earth. Take a few more deep breaths here, allowing yourself to fully immerse in the state of connection and awareness. When you are ready, Slowly bring your attention back to your surroundings. Know that you are a part of a global community dedicated to protecting and cherishing our planet. Let this meditation serve as a reminder of the power of our individual actions and the collective impact we can have when we come together to protect and celebrate the Earth. Slowly regular your toes and your fingers. And bring the feet and legs together. Extend the arms above the head and give yourself a nice stretch. And then bending knees, turning to your left or right side. Make a pillow of your upper arm and bring the opposite hand in front of you. And slowly press yourself all the way back up into a cross leg seated position with the hands at the heart in Namaste. Keep your eyes closed a little longer. We're gonna end the class here. One Om. Three Shantis, feel free to chant with me or just listen. 
But if you're ready, let's chant with the next inhale. Aum. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. The divine light within me honors the divine light within me. Thank you so much again for practicing with me today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste. And before you leave, I have one oracle card to read for you. The card I have today is slow but steady. And the message is as follows. Don't rush this situation. More often than not, divine timing and our timing are not the same. When you try to speed up a life experience, a relationship, or even a project, you circumvent necessary experiences or lessons along the way that will contribute to a perfect outcome. Know that wherever you are in this situation, it's the perfect place for you to be. If this place is causing you anxiety, perfect. Now you can look within and ask yourself why. What are your fears surrounding this perceived delay in getting to where you want to go? What is the worst that can happen? What is the best that can happen? What if we remove the words best and worst and just let things unfold at their own pace without attaching judgment? Thank you so much again. I hope this card resonates with you. Thank you for practicing with me. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.